Hi guys, sorry today's video is late. Last night I wasn't feeling the best, so I went to bed early. Uh, anyways, today or this week's theme of the week is um, dress up for Mother's Day. And like I had said in the past, this one's kind of a mixed up one because it was supposed to be last week, but I didn't have the video made. So I had to swap this week's for last week. And I know, sorry, Teffy's getting in the way. Um, I know Crystal got them mixed up. That's fine. <clears throat> I was fine with you doing either or. I, I mean, really, it doesn't matter to me. I know there's some people that even like a month later, well, oh my gosh, I haven't done theme of the week in a while, but I really wanted to do this one, so I'm going to do it now anyways. I don't care. It's, it's not a set in stone that you have to do it this day and this week. So, I... I'm pretty lax in it. I know some other people that do themes get upset when you do not do the theme that they picked for that week. If you do it on a different day or if you do it on... Yeah, it's like... There's no rules to this. It's, it's just for fun. So anyways, as you can see, I have Piper again and Teffy, who has been a pain in my behind all day today. Thank you. So anyways, I know I have this cute jimblery outfit on her, and somebody mentioned a bonnet that matches it. It does have a bonnet that matches it. I haven't bought it yet. I found it on I found one on eBay, but I'm gonna keep looking. Because the one that I found on eBay, they want like fifteen dollars for the bonnet. I'm like, I only paid a dollar for the dress. So anyways, um, yeah. As of now, I haven't gotten the bonnet for that. There's other things I would rather get for that amount of money. And all it is is it's just like a sun hat that's in this flowery fabric. So I am going to put this petite Amy, or M, depends, I've heard it different ways, dress on her. It is size newborn. And it's just this very, very, very light pink um, cotton... I think it's cotton. It says cotton polyester. It's a very lightweight cotton. And then it's got some smocking at the top in pink. And then it's got these like very light blue roses embroidered on it. And it's a very simple dress. And then I have got these frilly little socks. And I know this is like a very pale pink. And then these white shoes that I got at Once Upon a Child a few weeks ago. Teffy, stay over there. She's like up my bottom. Yes, you. I'm talking to you all day today. So first, I'm going to get her ID off. <sighs> that and everything has been chaotic. The kids are out of school next week. They only have two days of school next week. And really, a lot of us parents are kind of finding it pointless because they have Memorial Day off. Then they go to school on Tuesday for their class parties. And then Wednesday's a half day. And then they're out of school. We're like, and this week they've pretty much not been doing much. Just kind of busy work. Because all grades have been handed in. And... On the half day, all they're going to do is go into the cafeteria and watch a hour-long slideshow of pictures throughout the year. Like, why couldn't they do the slideshow on the mor like Friday morning and do the party Friday afternoon and call it good? Like, we even said, cause school doesn't start until a Wednesday. Like, start school on a Monday and then end on a Friday. Especially, like, have a three-day weekend and then have to go back to school for two days. But trying to get everything done, um, I am one of those parents that I have that, oh, the places you will go book. And I cannot for the life of me find my daughters. I sent it to school last year. And it, it came home, I know it did, and I put it in her closet 
in her closet like where I do my son's and hers is missing and I don't know if she climbed up in her closet and got to it and put it somewhere we literally have been tearing this house apart all week looking for it of course my son's is exactly where I put it so his has already been to school and signed and back home and hers is still missing and my husband's like oh just go buy a new one okay so like I I got the graduation edition so it's got extra pages in it uh for like at graduation when you do like your open house or your graduation party where you have family and friends sign it it's got pages f for the guest book it's got pages like you put a picture in the first day like their first day of school can like first day ever at school and then um, you put it in like a picture of a graduation. It's got like places, yeah, to put various pictures in. Um, there's also when they're in high school, you can have their friends sign it like a yearbook for their senior year. So while my kids will be getting their senior year yearbook, you know, I just thought it would be nice to have all of that together in one spot. And I, I loved that concept. Yeah, they discontinued it. So I can't even purchase it. And then I looked on eBay. I can't even find the graduation edition on eBay. It was a Barnes & Noble exclusive. Barnes & Noble doesn't sell it anymore. I found it on Amazon. Oh, take that back. I found one on eBay, and it's in Singapore. Like, I'm not going to be able to get it here by next Tuesday. So then I looked on Amazon and I can get it on Amazon, but they're used. And I'm like, they're showing up as in used, fair condition. Okay. So to me, that somebody's already been signing in it. Somebody took it to a thrift store or something. They, Another person bought it at the thrift store or at a, at a garage sale or something and is now selling it on Amazon. Like, that defeats the purpose for me. These look really cute. These look so sweet on her. I know they're too big. Like, her toes are at the, actually at the front of the Mary, like, right where the Mary Jean, or the opening is at, for the straps. But she looks very sweet and classic in it. Uh, too bad I didn't have, like, one of those um, binkies, the... Uh, what are they? Like me, I cannot think of it. Like the old-fashioned rubber type binkies. I don't have any of those. But anyways, I've been trying to find this book everywhere and I cannot find it. My husband's like, oh, just send a piece of paper to school. Which I did have to do for my son one year because we moved just up. Like literally school got out and we moved a week later and somehow his book got packed. So there is a sheet in his book that has his teacher's signature, or not necessarily signature. The teachers write a note to him every year. And I mean, I've got a few that are like, oh, that'll just write, I can't wait for all the places you will go. Um, and then there are some very heartfelt notes written in them. And that's what I think is neat. Like, honestly... My mom collected all, like, my, a bunch of stuff from my childhood, but I would have rather had something like that. Like, that has all my teachers in one spot, and, you know, they all signed it. And then I know it's going to be more difficult when they get into high school to try to get teachers to sign it, but, um, I'm not, I'm pretty sure they must do it down here the same way. When I was in high school, once a semester, there was parent-teacher conferences. And even though the parent-teacher conferences were mid through the year, I was thinking of having, um, taking the book during the conferences and having their teachers write in it quickly, just something. Uh, or, you know, especially now with emails, like send an email out to the teachers 
And then I, I'll, I'll figure something out. I've got time to figure out high school since my son will only be going into third grade and my daughter is going into first. So I've got some time to figure that out. But um, I hope everybody has a great day and I will see everyone tomorrow. Bye.